Hey everybody and welcome to the basement. I've got here a 1980 Sony SL5800 Time Commander. This is a Betamax player, as you can see, that I recently acquired and I'm gonna work on uh, getting it going. So, as you'll see, it will power on and we can test it out with the tape, see if anything happens. We've got a test tape right here. This was actually stuck in the machine when I got it. So, you can hear it take up the tape. So the, the take up track is working. And if we hit play, It's trying to move, it sounds rough. It's not super smooth. I don't have it hooked up to a TV right yet. I'm just testing these functions. I'll do, I'll, I'll clean it up and stuff, clean the video head and all before I actually hook it up to a TV. So it seems to be playing, that's a plus. You know what? I'm gonna stop it. Let's go ahead and hook up to a TV and see what the picture looks like. All right, now I have it hooked up to the Sony Trinitron up top there. Let's hit play and see if we actually get a picture. Hey, look at there. It actually looks pretty good too. It's pretty decent. See a little bit of flicker and stuff. Video heads need to be cleaned. This tape's probably damaged. That's probably what that is. Which is why it's making that noise. All right, we've lost the picture. So yeah, it's, it's going, but it's not super smooth. It's not very clean. It actually looks worse on camera than it does on in person. Let's open it up, start cleaning it and seeing what happens. Before we do that though, let's see if fast forward works. Yeah, it's not even, wasn't even spinning there. How about rewind? All right, rewind is working. That's good. Let's try fast forward again. Nope, still no fast forward. So fast forward doesn't work. Rewind seems to work now, but I tried it earlier and it wasn't working. And when I hit play, it works, but the, the picture isn't great. All right, so let's figure out what the issue is and get it repaired. Let's open it up, start cleaning it, and seeing what happens. Before we do that though, let's see if fast forward works. Yeah, it's not even, wasn't even spinning there. How about rewind? All right, rewind is working. That's good. Let's try fast forward again. Nope, still no fast forward. So fast forward doesn't work. Rewind seems to work now, but I tried it earlier and it wasn't working. And when I hit play, it works, but the, the picture isn't great. All right, so let's figure out what the issue is and get it repaired. So I'm going to remove all the screws that are holding the cover down on the beta machine. These screws are just Phillips head screws, go all the way down to the frame of the machine. And once you get those out, pop up the tape compartment and the cover comes off pretty easily. I'm also gonna remove this metal cover that's on top of the video head. I wanna be able to see the tape track. And I also am gonna to need to clean the video head and well, this is just in the way. What we really wanna see is down below this tape compartment. So I'm gonna get rid of it as well. Only issue here is that once we remove this, we will not be able to put a tape in it. So we're gonna to have to trick the machine into thinking there is a tape. And I'll show you how to do that. Okay, so I've got the SL5800 opened up. I've removed the tape deck so that we can see what's happening down here 
and we're gonna fake it into believing there is a tape in it. I actually have already done that, and if we, you see we can eject it. There's a little trigger here that we press in order to be able to do that. So, now that we have done that, we're gonna let it take the tape back up, which isn't actually there, but it thinks it is, and we're gonna hit play. Now it tries to play and it automatically stops. I'm gonna do that again. And when I do that, watch this arm right back here, the white one. You see it like as soon as it goes up, it kicks off. That arm is what keeps the tape, when there's actually a tape going through here, it keeps it tight. So if it goes up too far, that means there's too much slack and it automatically triggers the VCR to stop playing. So now I'm gonna trigger right here and make it think there's a tape in here and I'm gonna put my finger back here to block this arm. So now when we hit play, it'll keep going. We've fooled the VCR into thinking there's a tape in there. And so now we can watch these heads and we see the take up reel is spinning fine as it should be. So the tape would be coming through. It'd be going from this side over to this side. It would actually be much more complicated where it's wrapped around and comes back through and is being taken up. But all this seems to be working properly, which we've kind of already seen because we've already played it and we showed that it would play even though it didn't look great. All right, let's test rewind. So if we stop it and we hit rewind, now you see it looks like it is it would be rewinding as well. The reason it stops rewinding is because this thing will, it just speeds up. The speed is controlled by the tape. And so if it speeds up and it gets going too fast, then it just, it's like, oh, this is too much and it'll shut it off. So it's actually this one right here. If we could slow that thing down with a little bit of tension, it would keep going, but we're not gonna worry about that because we do know that rewind would work. We see everything is functioning properly there. Now let's move to fast forward and we're going to press, press fast forward. Now these are spinning but this one's not spinning as it should be. So we should see this spinning right now. Looks like there's not good contact between these so that's an issue we're going to have to look at. So fast forward doesn't seem to be working properly. We'll work on that and we'll get this cleaned up while we're in here. And then when we put it back together, maybe we'll have a working Betamax player. Okay, so I've demonstrated that if we convince the VCR there's a tape in it by pressing here, we can get it to play, as you'll see. And if I just block this arm back here, it will play for good. We can also rewind with it. It stops because it gets spinning too fast because there's no reel on there. But you'll see in order to get it to rewind, this uh, wheel is coming over against this uh, supply reel. We'll, we'll do that again. You'll see this is causing this to spin, it causes that to spin. But now I wanna do fast forward this is causing this to spin, but the take up reel is not spinning. And there's a tiny gap right in between these two that if this were just touch here, this would spin and it would fast forward, it would work. But the take up reel is not spinning. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move this lever over here, which as you'll see, will bring this roller up against the take up reel. And then we should be able to get fast forward to stay on. So there it goes. Take up real spinning and it would be fast forwarding right now. So what we need to do is figure out why is this 
so far away from this, which prevents fast forward from happening. What what needs to happen in order for this? What is failing that this doesn't get pulled up against the take up reel? And that's what we've got to look into now. Okay, so last time we talked, I was working on this Betamax player. I had tricked it into believing there's a tape in it and we could hit like play. We stop this arm and it appears like it's gonna work. And also rewind. That'll kick off because there's no tension from the reels. So it's gonna reach too high speeds and kick itself off. And then last time we talked, fast forward was not working. And so I've been investigating this and it seemed like what the issue was is, so whenever I would hit fast forward, things would spin, but nothing would come in contact with the take up reel here and actually move the tape uh, through. So that was the issue. Now I didn't see anything broken. I didn't see any springs that were loose. I didn't see anything that looked like it was too worn to make contact. But what I did is if you see down here, they're on these old VCRs like this, they have these bars where well, they have these pegs here that contact different bars. You'll see a lot of springs over here and each of these bars correlates to one of the functions on the VCR. So let's, let's say if you watch, when I hit play, you see the bar move over there. And if I hit rewind, you'll see some other different bars move over. If I hit, uh, let's say fast forward, some other bars move. And so what I did, as you see, this thing is working now and fast forward. What I did is just kind of went through and wiggled all these, made sure everything was moving because chances are just over the years, it sat, it got a little gummed up, a little clogged up and something wasn't moving correctly whenever I would hit fast forward. As a matter of fact, this peg was actually off of the bar a little bit and so it wasn't making good contact. And so once I moved everything around, the big issue seemed to be with fast forward that the motor here was not touching the take up reel, which again, as we see, now it is. So now it seems like all functions should be working. I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna clean all these rubber pieces, try to get any debris and dust out from in here. I'm gonna go ahead and clean the video head. And then I'm gonna put the tape deck back in and let's see what actually happens with the tape. So let me do some cleaning and then we'll move forward. Okay, I've got the tape compartment reinstalled and now we're gonna put in a tape and see what happens when we press. All right, first of all, turn it on. It pulled the tape in, gonna hit play. It's spinning. It looks like it's working. This is good news. All right, we'll stop it. We'll hit rewind. It's rewinding, no problem, that looks good. Stop it. We'll try fast forward. Look at that, fast forward works. Fast forward looks like it's slowing down though, that's not good. It has basically stopped. Let's see if it kicks off. It should eventually. There it goes. All right, it kicked off. Something got jammed up again. So we're still having some issues with fast forward. Okay, so I got a different tape. Here's a recording with the Exorcist and the Exorcist 2 on it. 
And let's see how this one functions. So I'm powering it on now. All right, took the tape good. There goes play. Looks like it's moving pretty good. All right, and hit stop. Here we go, fast forward. Fast forward, looks like it's going pretty good. All right, so it looks like it was the tape on the other one. That tape had probably just been sitting too long. It had, it had gotten pretty stuck together and needs to go through a time or two to get pulled apart. But this tape's working good. So that was a tape issue, not a player issue. This is why it's good to check with different tapes if you're not sure if the problem is a machine problem or a tape problem. Don't just assume it's a machine problem and then start doing more work that's unnecessary. All right, now we'll try rewind. Fast forward, work good for a while. And rewind is going good too. So I think we got her going. Let's hook it up to a TV and see what happens. All right, so we've got it hooked up to a TV, got it hooked up to this small one up here, the Sony Trinitron, not the RCA that's below it. That one works, but it needs some attention before we play something on it. So let's get it fired up here. Okay, here we go, we'll hit play now. See if we get a picture. Uh-oh, here we go. We've got a picture. Looks pretty good, too. Here we go. Oh, yeah. You'll be possessed with double trouble with The Exorcist Part 1 and 2, a Cinemax double feature, coming up next. The SL5800 is all put back together and is ready for the final test. Just look at this beauty. Looks so good. Cosmetically, it looks great. You can see like a little bit of scratch in here some light scratching on the tape compartment but for the most part it's one good looking machine all the wood looks good no significant damage to this thing at all so now we're going to test it out i've got it hooked up to the trinitron back there we're going to try it out with prom night so let's pop it in See how it looks. There's that MCA rainbow. Ah, oh, yeah. Let's turn it up. There it is, it's working. Killers are coming. 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 Kill
Test some other functions out. Fast forward. Fast forward's looking good. What about rewind? Rewind looks good. This thing functions. All right, let's try pause. Here we go, pause. There we go, we got it paused. See the button works there, the light, I mean. There's pause on it. We'll hit pause again. Oh, let's hook up the remote. See if it works. All right, so I've got the remote hooked up. It's a wired remote. It goes in down here in the front. And if you look at it, you'll notice there's no play. There's no record. This is simply for the time commander part of this Betamax player. So what you can do is you can hit, you can hit frame so sorry so what you can do you can hit freeze and it'll pause it and you can hit the frame button you can go through frame by frame which is pretty incredible and this is way cleaner than the way vcrs looked at vhs vcrs looked at the time you can still see what is on the screen. There is some, some scramble on there, but you can still see what it is you're looking at. Like, look at that, that's pretty incredible. Another thing you can do is you can scroll this up and instead of you clicking through frame by frame, as you scroll it up, it'll start moving through them and you can adjust the speed from freeze up to slow. So if I slide it all the way up to slow, It'll go through them slowly, but much faster than if you just hit the frame button. And then we can hit uh, freeze again. It'll go back to regular play. We can also hit fast play. And it'll just basically fast forward the movie, but you're watching it the whole time. Typically when you hit fast forward on a VCR, can't it mutes the signal you can't see what's on the screen this one goes through fast so if you're looking for a specific thing you can watch it while you're fast forwarding and then stop at that point then we can turn that off or you can scan down here so we can hit rewind and you can change the speed slow or you can change the speed by turning this knob and get rewind fast and you can do the same thing for fast forward so that's the remote that's pretty wild that's high tech for the time being able to go through and and control all that stuff so easily while being able to see what's on the TV. Not just a simple rewind, fast forward everybody's used to. You can actually watch it go through frame by frame. Pretty cool technology, especially back in 1980 or so. So there you go, fully functioning, looks great. Sony SL5800 Time Commander.